Oh man, I am excited to open these up. Wait, I should probably explain, huh? Okay, let's explain first. All right, so just recently I created a video about these Costco prints that you see behind me here. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll leave a link in the corner so that you can check them out if you're curious. But yeah, they are the first large prints of my photography that I've ever printed and hung in my house. And in that video, I mentioned that I knew there were better websites and services out there for large quality prints. But I decided to go with Costco because of the mostly positive reviews and the decent price. And to my surprise, a printing company saw my video, sent me an inquiry and asked if I wanted some free prints in return for my feedback and to share it with you guys. So there you go. Let's check them out. You don't know how excited I am to open these up because they have been sitting here on that wall for way too long. Gotta be very careful to make sure I only Barely insert the tip. That's what she said. To open these up and not scratch anything. Because that would not be good. So this one is actually one of the smaller of the prints. And I'm not exactly sure which photo they used, but I did re-edit some photos just like I did for the Costco ones to make sure they're as high quality as I can get. Ooh, it's my, my Gila Monster, or Gila Monster. Oh man, oh man. Wow, I, I'm not even, like I see it, but I don't even see it yet because it's still inside the plastic. Look at this thing, can you see that? It's like a, it must be one of their 3D printed things. And maybe it's part of the mounting system actually, because it looks like there's a, a groove system here. Really curious to see how this compares to Costco because I'm pretty satisfied with the Costco prints. I know they did mess up a little bit on my San Diego skyline. Um, and that's in that video I was talking about. But these guys should be much better quality. Holy moly, that is, that is crazy. Wow, this is cool, this is really cool. Okay, so this is definitely different. This is a metal print that they did, but like in 3D. So while the ones you see behind me here are also metal prints, they're a glossy, finished metal print. So there's a lot of glaring reflections that come off of them. Whereas this, this has like some texture to it. And I don't know how they do it, but I'll stop from leaving you guys hanging. But check this out. I'm not even sure that the lighting in here does it justice. I might have to try a couple different ways of lighting this so you can really see this image. And it is nice. It does have that a custom 3D print mount. So I think that's what this is for is you attach this to your wall and this, yeah, this hooks right into that to keep it in place. Pretty neat system. It's it's similar to the French cleat system, but with a V instead of just this uh, sliding system. But yeah, let me get this closer to the to the camera so you can see it. There we go. Look at that. That looks really cool. Wow, I'm impressed. I wasn't sure how well this one would turn out, but. It does look really nice. And 
the, the finish, the edges. Okay, so I'll have to get a close up of this and show you. But the edges, they're actually, it looks to be a fairly thin metal material. Maybe, I don't even know, I don't even know if this is metal on the front. It may be. I see a little bit of a reflection on it. But there's some other composite in the middle and then a white backing on the back of some sort. It's very glossy white backing. And then on the edges, yeah, you can't see that with this camera and lens. It's kind of sandwiched in there. Let's see if I get really close. Can you see that? There's like three layers. But I dig it. Very nice. All right, I'm gonna set this one down. Back here for now. Let's get all this out of the way. So this one should be a picture I took of the Grand Canyon uh, recently. Well, not too recently, but it should be an image that I shot the last time I was there. So quick story, my, my wife decided to go back to college to finish up her master's. And the university she went to is Grand Canyon University. And we live in Arizona, if you didn't know that already. And we're a few hours away from the Grand Canyon. And this was all happening during COVID where they weren't doing actual ceremonies because people are keeping their distance, right? So they did it virtually on, online. And while that was nice, it was not as special. Or am I still in frame? Yeah. It wasn't as special as having, you know, the actual ceremony. So I decided that after we watched the virtuals, the virtual commencement, virtual celebration. Why not just go to the Grand Canyon with her cap and gown and shoot some photos of her? Now, she's not in this photo, but it was taken the day that we went there. We drove there and got there right around sunset. And yeah, this just happens to be one of those shots. Long story short. So this one, whoop, not only being larger, should also be a metal print. Um, and it looks like it has this pretty cool backing on the back, a little more substantial than the other print. I know that one of the things that they do is uh, uh, they 3D print little dragon statues, which look really cool. And you can kind of see that on the back of this. So I'm gonna look first and then I'm gonna show you guys. Get out of here. What? Oh man, can you see my smile? That is, that is cool. All right, another metal print, but unlike these ones, not glossy. It's actually, it's actually metallic. Check this out. Let me try and turn it around. Oh, it's so large. Yeah, look at, you can see it already. Look at the way it, it has this nice metallic-y finish on it. It's like, it's like when you used to collect and trade baseball cards. You'd have those limited edition ones that kind of have that metal foil finish to it. That's, that's what's going on here. And the colors, man, can I bring that in a little closer? Is that, can, is that picking it up pretty good? I mean, you could definitely see there's that, there's a reflective nature to it, but that is really cool. I like, I'm not gonna lie, I, I like this 
It, I, it definitely um, depends on your subject matter for the print, but I really like that it's not glossy compared to the Costco prints back there. What's neat is as you look at it from different angles and different light hits it, it looks different. Like, like right now I'm looking in my monitor, that's why I keep looking over there. I'm looking in the monitor, seeing how it looks, and it looks different looking at it from this angle that the camera sees than from, one of my, from my angle here almost sideways. And it's really neat. I kind of wish I had even more color, but this still looks really nice, really nice. And this was a special day, it has a special meaning to, to me and my wife. So it's nice to have this as a, as a memory of that time, but wow. All right, so the company that sent me these is called Uproar Design and Print. And from what I understand, they have some pretty cool 3D printing with resin, old elastic resin, nylon, and they do other custom fabrications. They do techniques with flatbed UV, inkjets, SLS slash SLA 3D printing, CNC routing. They use all the different kinds of paper. I don't even know what they're all called. I just know that they are the nice digital fine art paper and photo papers. And they can print on aluminum, aluminum composite, museum acrylic, and supposedly soon they're gonna be doing it on like aerospace aluminum and glass and custom metal alloys. So if you're an artist and a photographer and you wanna showcase your work and some of the finest quality materials, I highly suggest checking them out. I'll leave a link for their website in the description down below. But yeah, I'm impressed. I think you would be too. That's Ginter for now. I hope you enjoyed seeing some more of my printed work. I know I did. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. Really do appreciate the support. And hit the subscribe button if you wanna see more things related to cameras and the tech that I use with cameras and even getting some of these prints done. I wanna do more. So I'll keep uh, telling you what my experiences are as I try out new styles of photos and different materials. And yeah. All right. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.